Let's go to this next one here. Metroid Prime Remastered Review prime for resurgence i've been seeing a lot of reviews for this game and i'm really excited to play this so i have a switch light as some of you may know so i have this switch light i keep it in my case all the time because i'm a nerd and i like to keep things nice and tidy um so this is my switch light that i got um i had a regular switch i gave it away to a friend who um needed a console because their apart their condo got broken into this is a long time ago and I was like, dude, just take my Switch. Like, I never touched that thing. And then recently, I wanted something really portable that I could play. Like, if I wanted to, like, go on a treadmill. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Or just, like, go somewhere. Like, I don't, or, like, I don't know. I just want something really portable. I didn't really find the Switch that portable. So I got that one. But now, like, I'm wanting to play some of these games and not emulate them. So I just went on eBay and I just got a Switch tablet by itself and I ordered that. So that's on its way. So once it arrives, I'll start streaming Metroid Prime. But dude, like I've been looking into emulating this game via Dolphin emulator and there's a bunch of hacks to make it widescreen. There's HD texture packs, but the re like this is like a full on remake, dude. Like they didn't just like apply new textures. Like they did a lot of upgrading in this game and it looks awesome and a lot of people are loving it. I also love that they modernized the controls. There were hacks for that. There was even a hack for keyboard and mouse uh, for Metroid Prime, but the, the shit looks great. What's funny is in this other article, Metroid Prime's original developers call remasters credits a travesty so apparently they fucking left out the original um i think it's retro studios like their creative team was completely left out of the credits so hey yeah maybe that's why sony santa monica puts the credits at the beginning in the middle and at the end of their fucking games and so they remember everybody like holy this isn't the first time this has happened like didn't that happen on um fucking uh what's not clear still protocol but uh dead space is that it yeah that game <laughs> <laughs> is this a remake or a remaster i don't know like what would you like i don't i feel like it's a remaster honestly like i don't think it's a remake i feel like a remake you you have to build it from the ground up and what i mean by that is like it's gotta be you can take the original source code and then put it in a brand new game engine and i would count that as a remake but if you're just taking the original source code and then just optimizing it for current apis for like switch and stuff i i think that's a remaster like the last of us part one remake that's a fucking remaster dude that's a remaster of a remaster so they did add a lot of enhancements but i would still say that this is a remaster they even say it in the title here <laughs> but yeah i thought that was funny that like shit dude like and then th that's gonna go through so many approval processes for them to leave that team out like that's savage i don't know i don't think that's cool no 